Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to give this statement today to update this honorable house and the listening public on the government's intention to allow international law firms to have a presence in Bermuda. Honorable members will recall that in, in the 2018-2019 national budget, government announced that we had already begun the process of making Bermuda's economy more competitive and of stimulating additional investment in Bermuda. It, it was also noted that in support of this initiative, this government will be welcoming global law firms to Bermuda. It is the government's view that the presence of international law firms in Bermuda will generally benefit the economy and employment prospects of Bermudians, as well as enhance the national brand exposed through, glo through global channels. Mr. Speaker, to progress this proposal, the Registrar of Companies commenced consultation with the legal sector on allowing global law firms to have a presence in Bermuda. This consultation resulted in the ROC on behalf of the Ministry of Finance releasing an industry notice to key stakeholders. The stakeholders were invited to give their feedback on any concerns they may have about opening the legal market to international law firms, as well as any conditions they believe should be imposed in Section 114B licenses in order to preserve the interests of Bermudians. Accordingly, the following key stakeholders were invited to give feedback. The Bermuda Bar Council, each law firm listed on the Bermuda Bar Association's website, the Bermuda Business Development Agency, the Business Development Unit, the section formerly of the Ministry of Economic Development and Tourism and now under the Cabinet Office, and the Department of Immigration. A summary of responses from stakeholders is as follows. In total, 28 submissions were received in response to the industry notice. 18 were from various law firms and individual lawyers. The Bermuda Bar Council declined to put forward a formal response, but forwarded, forwarded a compilation of 10 letters dating back to 2015 from various law firms and individual lawyers to the then Minister of Home Affairs regarding overseas firms setting up in Bermuda. Nine were positively in favor of allowing international law firms to enter the Bermuda legal market, citing competition, increased global exposure, and investment as benefiting the economy as well as better professional development and career opportunities for Bermudian lawyers. Six expressly disapproved of allowing international law firms to enter the Bermuda legal market. The grounds of, of objection were that international law firms will be damaging to existing law firms and that they may simply open a front in Bermuda by engaging the services of a figurehead Bermudian. Concerns had also been expressed that the development of international business in Bermuda had been spearheaded by the Bermudian-owned legal sector. They said that, that the legal serv services sector is a major contributor to the offshore service economy, the result of 50 years of continuous in investment and development of Bermuda by the mostly private investment of law firms who have provided first-class services to support the international business. The BDA is strongly in favor of relaxing the law firm market and opening up to greater competition on the grounds that, with open, that, that it will open more channels to push out positive Bermuda messaging and increase opportunities for business flow, particularly in and from Asia. Mr. Speaker, there have been several broad policy discussions over the past eight years or so about the formulation of a policy regarding the presence of international law firms in Bermuda. Under current circumstances, it is prudent for the Ministry to establish clear policies with respect to local law firms wishing to obtain a license under Section 114B of the Act in order to, pertain to, in order to partner with international law firms. Mr. Speaker, the ROC and the Ministry of Finance have carefully considered all feedback from industry. Additionally, the ROC has conducted research on how other similar jurisdictions contend with the presence of international law firms. Following due diligence, the Ministry proposes to prudently liberalize the law firm market and open it up to international firms. Accordingly, each Section 114B license application in relation to an international law firm will be decided based on its own merit and in addition to the standard conditions imposed. Each license application will mm -hmm. be decided on the following provisional conditions, which are intended okay. to preserve the interests of Bermudians. One, the law firm will be, will be required to have a physical presence in Bermuda, i.e., it must operate from Bermuda with staff and management in Bermuda. Two, legal work involving matters of Bermuda laws, law originally originated in Bermuda must be undertaken in Bermuda by lawyers with the current practicing certificate and cannot be outsourced to lawyers and paralegals in another jurisdiction and merely rubber-stamped in the Bermuda office. Three, 
The law firm will be required to provide scholarships to Bermuda law, Bermudian law students, recruit, train, i.e. pupillage and post-pupillage professional development, and employ Bermudians at all levels as well as provide them with experience in the firm's overseas offices. Four, as part of the Section 114B application, the law firm will be required to produce a five-year business plan that includes A, how it plans to increase revenue from offshore work, and B, a diversity and inclusion progression policy designed to identify and prepare candidates for partner and high-level management positions that is based on ability but also mirrors the multicultural composition of the Bermuda community. And five, the law firm will, will be required to submit an annual report to the minister to demonstrate adherence to the business plan. Mr. Speaker, the government is confident that this policy to relax the law, the law firm market and open it up to international firms, along with the above mentioned license conditions, strikes the correct balance between stimulating additional investment in Bermuda and providing opportunities for, for Bermudian lawyers and preserving the interests of Bermudians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.